Hello guys and welcome to this video tutorial on how to calculate the SPI index for a given rainfall station over a certain over a given time period. Well, for this you will simply need two things. You will first need R Studio installed in your computer and if you haven't done it yet, it is easy to install so do it. And secondly, you'll need the monthly average rainfall values for the given station. Well, uh, usually the values and data are in the form of 3D values, but you can simply do those monthly daily values and get an average value for the entire month. For example, here you have 1980 January average rainfall value which is zero similarly here you have february of 1980 has an average monthly rainfall value of two millimeters and after all that is done you'll just need to arrange them in the form of year month and precipitation values after all this is done save the excel file in some easy to understand easy to remember name and go sorry and 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 where is the, and just go off oh. Just go to the R Studio. Now, if you have all this mess stored up in your R Studio, just clear the console, remove this, uh, yes, and clear everything. Okay, it's brand new now. Now, firstly, you'll have to install a package, and the name of the package is SPEI. Sorry for this. You'll have this code install.packages and spei okay since i have already installed this previously so this error message is being displayed after that just go to packages and uh, initially there will be no tick mark over here just click this and your package will be ready to be used after that you'll have to go to this environment tab over here and import data set from Excel and you'll have to browse for the previously stored uh, for the previously stored data yeah I had stored it in 601 so open this Excel file and import the data from there after this has been done your data will be displayed over here now all we need to do is calculate the SPI value for this, you will simply need to type SPI. For three month SPI, you'll have to write SPI3. Well, this is just a name that I've given. And you'll have to enter this symbol, which basically means you are going to store something in this variable SPI3. And the main command line here is SPI, which is a function. SPI, and you'll have to enter the name of the actual file. My Excel file was initially named named as 601, but uh, the R Studio has added an extra X in the front of the name after the file name. Don't and I will I will also remind you guys that the X over here and any other alphabet in your file name is case sensitive. So uh, if it's in the upper case, keep it in the upper case, and if it's in the lower case, do it similarly. After that, you'll have to enter a dollar sign and PRCP. This column contains the precipitation data. So click on this comma. You'll have to enter the time period three. Okay. Now the SPI index values have been stored in this variable. So if I hit the name of the variable and click it again, it'll be displayed. Well, these are all the SPI index values. In order to plot this, you'll have to simply do plot bracket and the name of the variable initially assigned and here you go this is the spi3 plot in order to export this just go here and save as pdf spi3 in your desired location wherever you again you'll have to the same process 601 dollar sign comma spi six it has been calculated in order to 
look into this data and just enter the variable name and press enter. These are all the SPI 6 values. And in order to plot this, plot.spe. I don't forget the E guys. SPI 6. Enter. And here is the new plot export. Similarly for SPI 12, repeat the same process equals to SPI 12 and here you go, the SPI 12 value. In order to plot this, plot dot. And you have a new plot. Export this as well. Uh, SPI 12. Done. Now you'll also need these data over here. So one last thing to do is copy these data. And actually, you'll need to create a column over here. Well, SPI 3, SPI 6, SPI 12. And now problem here is, guys, you'll... I have to paste everything over here. Now you need to arrange these data line wise. For example, January 1st is NA, February 1st is NA, March is NA, January 2nd is this value. Oh my god. Well, you orange one person, you got my knowledge, so I hope. Thank you and have a good day.